Happy Wednesday, everybody. This is Dr. Soar here at Source of Health. Today, I'm about to get sassy. Who likes it when I get sassy? Yeah. I had a patient come in uh, yesterday that we've been treating for a long time, and um, we've been doing some PRP on his back and trying to work him with some physical therapy, changing his diet, things like that. And uh, he had mentioned to me that he's interested in stem cells, and you know he would you know, obviously be open to that. So I told him, no, not yet. Well, he got antsy, and he got a nice little flyer in the mail uh, at his door, and it said, hey, come on in, we'll wine and dine you for a steak dinner over at Capitol Grill. Great, awesome. Well, they wined and dined him and showed him all about how amazing stem cells are, a local place here in town. Um, I went online, took a look at them, big, huge group, you know, lots of regenerative medicine. Oh, yeah, the CEOs, you know, standing like that. Well, they ripped him off, uh, leaps and bounds and they want him to come back for more and uh, he's telling me the story and my heart is just like breaking and crushing and I'm getting sick to my stomach because the man was not ready for it and they overcharged him so much so when um, when we talk about stem cells uh, we're really talking about cells that are coming from you right so we call those autologous stem cells there's only two ways to get stem cells from you back into you, right? So either we're gonna take them from your fat, that's called stromal vascular fraction or SVF, and then the second one is to do a bone marrow aspirate, so we pull out the bone marrow and, and get that going. Those are the only ways to get stem cells from you into you. The second option out there are these uh, umbilical, placental, amniotic, whatever, you want to say, except for embryonic, there's no embryonic out there for human use, uh, that are stem cells that come cryopreserved. Well, here's the deal. They're not alive. They're dead tissue. And to charge thousands upon thousands of dollars more than they should in injecting dead tissue into your vein or into a joint is really a bad idea. Okay. So I go on and on about this. You know I get sassy, but uh, this this man was really, really abused by the healthcare system, like it happens all the time. But now we're in this, you know, cool space of stem cells and regenerative medicine. I am I'm heartbroken by by stories like this that I hear all the time, and to hear that one of my patients went there to that place because he just wanted it because he wanted it right now. I, I hear that. I definitely hear him on that. Uh, and he said, he admitted he overreacted and he just wanted to bite the bullet because he wanted it, right? This is not okay. This is not okay to do to other people. Um, I'm having a serious problem in our, in our healthcare system. And here, here's how this whole model works, this kind of sales funnel system. You're gonna get invited to a dinner presentation by a doctor, and I'm gonna use that lightly in quotations. It's usually a chiropractor. Now here in the state of Arizona, a chiropractor cannot take a needle and put it into you in whatsoever shape or form. So what they usually have them do is either hiring a nurse practitioner or an unassuming naturopathic doctor who's like, oh, I just need a job. I'll go ahead and just do the injection without having injection training, without having the knowledge, experience, the wisdom on how to do needling appropriately. And they're charging a lot of money, thousands and thousands of dollars more than they should. And um, this, is, this is a bad idea. So if you somehow get suckered in to getting to a stem cell dinner talk or a lunch and learn where they're gonna wine and dine you and say, now if you act now, take 10% off or 20% off, this is like red flag. Stop what you're doing. Think about this. Talk to me, like let me just bring you down into level and say, is this a good idea for you right now or maybe somewhere in the future? There are different there are lots of different solutions out there for handling people's pain or aging or whatever the reason is that you're going in there for. But let me just be clear, none of this is magic, right? We are talking about the science and the art of healing. So by understanding physiology and knowing how to apply that to a person is going to really make a huge difference on whether this person is going to get better or not. Now, if you go to these, these chiropractic offices that have these stem cell injections and the smoke and dance, 
you uh, buyer beware, right? Shame on you, you're a fool for falling uh, in, into their little trap. This is driving me crazy. Hey, thanks for, thanks for joining us, everybody. So I'm just going on my sassy rant because I'm really upset. A uh, patient that I really care about, he's, he looks like my father to me. Like I, I just really feel bad when I see somebody just getting raped and, and abused by a, a doctor who's trying to help them. They're not trying to help them. They're trying to rip them off and take their money. If, if you don't know your doctor's name, if you don't have a good working relationship with your doctor, whatever the procedure is, you have a major problem. If your doctor seriously thinks that you can just take their, they could just take your insurance and everything is covered, you're, you're operating in the sick care mentality, right? Insurance only covers disease, it does not cover wellness. And you're gonna have a big problem if you're trying to negotiate with your doctor who's trying to get you better while you're trying to sit there and, and play with finances and get a deal or a coupon or a Groupon. If you see stem cell on Groupon, run. Do not go for it. If it's a $99 stem cell something, they're, they're absolutely lying to you and blowing smoke up, you know what. Okay, does anybody have any questions? Please leave them in the comments below. I know it's like the middle of the day, so if you can't get to this while I'm live, please uh, leave me a message down below. I will answer it in uh, my private messages when I get to it at the end of the day or tomorrow morning. And um, I am really, really excited though because we, we do have solutions to help people that are, that are looking for stem cells. Uh, you know how I am. Please follow and watch all the things that I am posting. Stem cells are awesome. We have exosomes and different peptides to help enhance healing. So it's not just I have to do liposuction or bone marrow aspirate anymore. We have other solutions. And, and, and putting this together into a treatment program, a plan over time is going to give us a really, really uh, improved outcome, right? We call this synergy. One plus one is greater than the, than the sum. So um, just to recap, if your stem cells come frozen in a little vial like this, you should be concerned because uh, your stem cells don't come frozen, right? This is dead tissue. Uh, even if the company that is sold, selling them to the doctors is claiming that they're alive right? I dare them to give me a, a blinded study to show me all of that. So I do I use an enzyme when using adipose? So uh, great question. I'll answer that. Uh, in order to do the adipose with the enzyme, this is called stromal vascular fraction. So basically what we do is we do a liposuction. So we take out, this is not stem cell. This is just an example for a tube. Uh, this is B12, by the way. B12 is red. You mix it with water, it turns it pink. Okay, so uh, when, we, when we do an adipose harvesting, you're going to get water, right? There's some natural water, blood, and anesthesia that is going to decant and fall to the bottom, and fat floats on the top, right? So the fat floats on the top, there is tissue in between, and then all the water and anything blood that falls down. That all gets filtered out and separated. There's an enzy enzyme called collagenase, which basically just chews apart all of the collagen fibers holding the stem cells in place. That gets washed and repeated and washed and repeated until there's nothing left. Um, after spinning it down onto the very bottom, there's a puck, and that little tiny puck contains your own adult mesenchymal stem cells, or think of this as medicinal signaling cell. Me mesenchymal is a really hard word, so I just say medicinal signaling cell. So that's what stromal vascular fraction is. And according to the FDA, which is absolute garbage, another thing I can go on a rant about, that is considered illegal because it's manipulating tissue. Uh, that is absolutely just the silliest thing ever, and, and the studies that have shown all this to be very, very safe are okay to do, okay? Um, so that's the one way to do the adipose-derived uh, stem cells. Okay, hope that answered your question. Thanks so much. I just wanted to pop on really quick. I don't like live, uh, long Facebook lives or Instagram lives either, so please message me below. Hope you all have an amazing Wednesday, and we'll be in touch soon. Bye, everyone.